hello guys and welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning into this video my name is any or you can call me any baby I make YouTube videos just to share my life to share the things I love to share my experiences and hopefully that would inspire somebody and that would encourage somebody um, yeah so thank you for watching this video again please don't forget to subscribe to the channel please press that link below um, and yeah so in today's video I'm going to be sharing my academic journey on how I was able to go from failing my A-levels and starting oh, well, I'm doing a PhD now in mechanical engineering so yeah I'm just gonna jump right into this video so I'm gonna tell you right from the beginning from the genesis so my stories I was born and raised in Nigeria so in Nigeria I was in boarding school or from when I was I can remember I was in boarding school from the age of six to the age of 17 and I just remember when I was six years old I just um, there was a point where I wasn't very serious with my studies and then because when you do well in school you get respect you your parents are happy and stuff like that I just remember and someone also was just telling me of that oh you have a friend that seems like a lot better than you and I just remember that I just wanted to do better and it's just crazy like something just switched in my brain and ever since then like I just um, worked really hard so in primary six I just turned a new leaf and I decided to you know study and put a bit more effort into my work so that's primary school, just me having the switch in my head. Now on to secondary school, I just remember just really going hard and just being really determined to work hard and to just do well in school. And I remember, oh, in Nigeria, it was so difficult because um, I can just remember like using my phone touch light to study in the middle of the night when I had exams and also like going to the toilet to use the toilet light to study and um, just so that I can get a good grades because they turn off the lights um, by 11 p.m. so I had to like do whatever I had to do to study so I can just remember just being really determined to work hard and to just um, to just do well and that was why I had to do all those sacrifices and it reflected in my grades I remember just like throughout my time in secondary school I was getting increasingly better and it got to a point where I was like second position in class and yeah it was just it was just a great um confirmation that if you work hard you will get results and it paid off because at the end of secondary school I was the senior prefect or what you might call the head girl in Nigeria and that was it was great it was a great learning curve it was a great role and I learned a lot from it so I moved to the UK and I started a level like literally I it's like I moved to the UK maybe on when on Monday and on Wednesday I was in college like it was so fast so I started a levels for A levels I did maths, biology, chemistry and psychology in the first year and I had the same work ethic like I had in Nigeria. I was pulling all nighters, studying but um, it was just, I found it really difficult because my hard work was not reflected in my results. So I would still pull all nighters. I remember I had a math teacher, Miss Karuma, and I would get to college at eight thirty in the morning. I'll leave my house at like six, and I would leave college around nine, around seven o'clock or eight o'clock at night, and just I'll just be there with my math teacher studying, and all my teachers were like they they knew I had a good work ethic, but my results for the first year of A levels was I, I got like a C in maths. Then I had D in, D in biology and maybe an E in chemistry. So th those were not the best grades. But it was crazy because everyone was surprised because I, I was working hard. I think I just really struggled with the academic system in the UK. So now moving on to second year of A-levels. And I just remember it even got a lot harder. And my grades were just, oh my gosh, it was not the best at all. So... um. 
second year of a levels i dropped psychology and i remember i did a retake in psychology and i got a b and my cycle and the other subjects like chemistry and biology i was still getting e's like e's <laughs> oh, seriously e's like terrible and i just remember like my psychology teacher trying to force me to study psychology for second year of a levels but i was like i don't want to study psychology in university so i don't want to study psychology for second year of a levels and she was like you got a b in psychology and chemistry and biology you got e's why are you not dropping the ones that you are failing at and picking up psychology but i just knew that i could do better i knew that the reason that like there was a reason why i wasn't doing well in chemistry and biology and i, I couldn't understand it but i knew that it wasn't that i couldn't do it so i was just like i'm gonna drop psychology because that is not what i want to study in university and yeah it was just really like a really rough time of my life because i was working really hard i remember like i would literally stay up all night and my mom would be like and you're like you need to go and sleep but i'll be like no i don't want to sleep even though it was really cold and i really struggled with like the temperature difference from nigeria to the uk i would wear like multiple jackets in the middle of the night so that i'll be able to study and um it still wasn't reflected in my grades I was still get, getting ease and my mom was really worried that I wouldn't get into university like she did her absolute best to make sure that I got good grades she got me a, a lesson teacher and she was paying like 40 pounds per hour to teach me chemistry and even the, the teacher was like you're really intelligent but it's just like i don't like it's probably the exam techniques that i wasn't understanding what the markers wanted um to to, to give me good grades i wasn't giving them I wasn't giving them the right answer i wasn't answer, answering the questions correctly but um i never stopped working hard and i remember my mom being very very supportive she would print out past papers from work and uh, they even got to a point where like she had like 20 pounds in her account and she literally spent all the 20 pounds on buying past papers for me and i still failed my a levels like at the end of the second year of a level i remember i got a d in maths and then i got e in biology and e in chemistry and that was just really horrible like i was just like oh my gosh what is this and and th this that's the reason i'm making this video because if you're expecting your a level results and even if you've seen your results and it's not what you expect like what i got like don't be discouraged because there is hope and just keep working hard um so i didn't do well in my a levels and that was that was not the best but my mom wasn't too harsh on me because she saw my work ethic and she she said if if um sciences is too difficult for you maybe you should look into studying nursing but she wasn't harsh because she saw that i was working really hard and yeah so that is my a level um journey the difficult part throughout all my you know the difficult times of my a levels i remember my mom always praying for me and i was also praying as well that god please let me get good grades and stuff like that and i would also like to encourage anybody watching this that you should never listen to people's negative opinion i remember with my psychology teacher i remember she literally banged it on me when i told her i didn't want to study psychology because because i didn't want to study i didn't want to study psychology in university so i would drop psychology and um, i decided to drop psychology and she was really upset with me so i would just like to encourage you that don't listen to people and i remember another teacher he was telling me oh you would do really well in hospitality like engineering is not good for you and i just remember just saying like i like yeah i would do well in hospitality but i can also do well in sciences i don't want to be put in a box and i decided to study chemical engineering in university because first of all i like a challenge i don't like it when people tell me i can't do something i'm just like is your name jesus like who are you to tell me I can't do something? It will be hard, and I know that I would have to work really hard. But you can't tell me I can't do anything. Uh, what, what I can do or what I can't do, because 
yeah because your name is not jesus right so um yeah just to encourage you like not to listen to people's negative opinion believe in yourself pray and work hard really really grateful to university of bradford for accepting me to study um foundation in engineering because i didn't get the required grades to go straight into first year of university i had to start from foundation year and i'm really grateful to bradford university for giving me the opportunity to study engineering so um when I got into university, I knew that it would not take just hard work for me to do well in university. I knew I had to study smart and I knew like obviously I had to work hard and I knew I needed like a good support system for me to be able to do well in, in university. And I really wanted to do well in university because I wanted to show my mum that all our sacrifices was not in vain and I also wanted to do it for myself. like. I wanted to study engineering. I liked a good challenge and I liked maths. I was good at maths. Maths was something that all my teachers throughout my, throughout when I was in Nigeria, even during my A levels, my maths teacher, she saw my potential and she was always telling me that she was surprised by my grades. So that was the reason I decided to study engineering. And also because like <laughs> in Nigeria, there is good prospects for chemical for chemical engineering because we have oil and gas so i thought let me just look into this engineering stuff and university was a great turning point in my life i learned so much from it and it was crazy because right from the get-go i just I, I figured i had to not just work hard but also work smart so i just tried to understand what the teachers wanted um when i had tests like the, the way that i was supposed to answer those questions and one thing that really helped me was past papers i did a, I, I did a lot of past papers i had an excellent like group of colleagues that were really really supportive and we studied together so like i was able to tell them how can i do this so that i, I can get good grades and because i knew i couldn't be relaxed in university i was always like on top of my game like because i knew from my a levels that that there was something wrong like if i'm not like it, it, it didn't just take hard work like i had to not just work hard but also figure out the best way to be able to understand how to answer questions correctly so um i have another video on my channel on how i was able to get a first class in university with like so that would also tie into this video but yeah it was just it was just an amazing time in university and i was able to learn so much and i just thank god because i, I believe what it takes is believing in god because throughout all the difficult times i was praying i like my mom was praying as well for me i was working really hard i had an excellent group of people that i studied with and because i had a natural um skill with math as well and i also got really really organized i made sure that i prioritized um my education and also my work with god and I believe those are the things that really really helped me to do well in university and I remember in university throughout from foundation year first year second year third year I got a first class all through and I was not relaxed at all if I had a deadline if I had a coursework I would literally start the coursework on the same day it was given to me because I just wanted to do well I wanted to make my mom proud and I knew I couldn't be relaxed because from my A level grades, I knew that, you know, I wasn't naturally good at these things and I had to work extra hard to be able to get the grades that I wanted. So I'll tell you now about how I was able to get the PhD. So I think it was after my first year of university, a friend of mine was graduating from the University of Leeds. She was um, graduating. She did PhD in mechanical engineering. And I went for a graduation ceremony. At the ceremony, I met her supervisor. And a supervisor saw me. She was like, how are you? We were just having a casual chat. And she was like, what do you study? I told her I studied chemical engineering. She was like, did you get 
a first class i was like yeah i got first class at the end of i think at the end of first year and she was like would you be interested in doing a phd and i said yeah i would love to um not phd would you be interested in doing an internship and i was like yes i would love to do an internship and it, it was crazy because i came from london to leeds for my friend's graduation and i was offered an internship like in leeds so I had to rush back to London because I had to start the next Monday. So I had to rush back to London, pack all my stuff, came to Leeds and I did an internship for like two months and it was an excellent learning curve. I just, I learned so much from that experience and I'm truly grateful to that lady for offering me the internship. After the internship, I, she, well, I sent her an email and I thanked her and she was like, if you're interested in, if you'd like to do a PhD, all you need to do is get a first class or a 2-1 and you can send me an email and I'll give you the PhD. And to God be the glory, at the end of my um, degree, I got a first class and I sent her an email. But it was a bit difficult. I had to um, ask somebody in university to help me talk to her as well because she wasn't replying that email and stuff. So I had to like get somebody else to remind her about me and thankfully I was able to secure the PhD and currently I'm doing the PhD and I'm yeah like I'm enjoying it I'm learning a lot um, and I'm just truly grateful to God I believe that what it takes to just I don't know what the future holds for me I don't know but I know that so far what has gotten me here is prayers I believe I'm a Christian I believe that God helps us when we when we tell him what we want i believe in hard work i believe in surrounding yourself with people that encourage you that push you to be better serious-minded people that have an excellent work ethic and i also believe in being very very organized and understanding priority understanding that my education is priority so i don't need any distractions and i just make sure that i focus on that and i just pray that you know whatever it is whatever it is that you're going through with your college or whatever result it is that you might have regardless of maybe what you maybe you don't expect it that if you just just stick to these things and you just focus on on the goal and pray work hard just continue to prioritize your education and maybe academics might not be the route for you maybe it might be something else but i just believe that if you just continue to work hard believe in yourself pray and just continue to do your absolute best like it will come out you will come out flying at the end of it and i would also like to encourage you not to compare yourself to anybody everybody is unique god created everybody specially and whatever it is that you feel strongly in your heart that this is what i want to do don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it and i just pray that god will continue to guide you to give you wisdom to you know help you to make the right decisions and to continue to surround you with the people that will propel you into the purpose that god has for you thank you so much for watching this video I hope you learned one or two things from me. If you have any questions, please comment below. If there is anything that you would like me to talk about in other videos, please comment. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share it with anybody that you think would learn from me. And thank you and have a blessed day. Bye bye.